We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm very pleased to be joined by Philip Metzger who is Director General of the Federal Office of Communications for Switzerland. Philip, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, you are a gold partner of the GemTech Awards, uh, which have uh, recently been launched here at the Plenipotentiary Conference. Why did Switzerland decide to support the awards? And perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the awards. Yes. Um, well, thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak about uh, such an important topic. Uh, we feel very strongly about gender uh, equality and mainstreaming because this is something which we try to live also within our own organization, Ofcom. And so we have actually a very, we have an ongoing debate, we have uh, ongoing interaction and engagement also by staff members, very committed staff members who are trying to further the cause of, of gender equality uh, mainstreaming. And um, we had a, a discussion specifically about joining this program of the GEM uh, Tech Awards in, in our management team and it became uh, quite clear very, very quickly that this is something we wanted to be part of because we think it's a great initiative. Uh, by the ITU and so we felt it was uh, the right moment to, to really support that as much as we can, not just with the attitude but also with a little bit of, of money. In your opinion, how are ICTs helping to foster gender equality? Well, maybe we can, we can look at a specific case which is infrastructure. Um, ICT helps us to uh, change the way we live and work and the way we combine the two worlds and uh, as we know, especially when it comes to the empowerment of both genders in an equal way, ICTs play an important role. It's much easier now for mothers, for instance, to uh, join the staff again, be again part of an organization, and combine that more easily by, for instance, having uh, competitive and, and fast uh, internet connections from home to uh, be part of the team virtually, at least for part of the week. And so I think in terms of the um, infrastructure alone, ICT has dramatically enhanced the opportunities for, for that uh, aspect of combining uh, or, and getting a good family and work balance. Of course you have to seize the opportunities, it's just at your disposal, but certainly that is a, a great um, advancement uh, on the path because we're definitely not there yet. And what impact does gender equality have in a highly complex regulatory and economic environment? Well, we're strong believers in diversity, and I think dealing with complex tasks, um, as we do, as any uh, regulator or ICT uh, authority does, requires an enormous uh, array of, of skills. And you won't find that if you have a monoculture in any way or form. And so we are really believing that you have not only to break up silos, you also have to bring together a talent with different perspectives. And, and we often see that in complex tasks, um, it is very productive to have both genders equally uh, be uh, represented because um, women uh, or men will bring different facets of uh, cracking a task to the table. And so uh, in that sense, particularly for complex tasks as we do, this is a key aspect of really being as diverse as possible. And that, of course, involves uh, the genders. Philip Metzger, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.